Whew, this is gonna be an important one. Over the past year, we've been making interviews with longevity athletes with Nopara73 on his channel. These are individuals dedicated to reversing their aging process and competing who can make the most progress. Here's an executive summary of our findings so far. First, what are these athletes aiming for? They are pursuing longevity escape velocity. This means a point when technological advancements make us healthier and extend our lives to such an extent that living indefinitely becomes a choice and not a fate. So, how do these athletes live? We identified three common factors. The first being financial resources. They possess considerable wealth. Because frankly, financial stability is one of the best investments in health. The second one is social status. They maintain strong community ties and a high social standing, ensuring they are socially integrated and not marginalized. And the third one is consistent habits. Unsurprisingly, they follow strict routines, but even they aren't perfect. They face their own challenges and imperfect moments. For instance, despite claims of a perfect lifestyle, even athletes like Brian Johnson have had slip-ups. Like when he injured his ankle at a party after he was dancing a bit too hard, contradicting his usual disciplined regimen. This illustrates that even the most dedicated ones among us aren't flawless. Now let's delve into their habits. They meticulously track their activities and health metrics, notably using devices for activity and sleep monitoring. Regular blood tests are also part of their routine, although this practice isn't mainstream yet. They thrive within stable and supportive communities, leaving behind a hectic lifestyle for a more serene living condition. While stability is key, embracing a digital nomadic lifestyle while maintaining health is an emerging trend. They manage their time diligently, maintaining regular sleep schedules and having early dinners, around 4 to 6 p.m., which aids in better sleep. Morning and evening routines are prevalent, and breaking from such routines is uncommon. Interestingly, while exceptions exist, the 80-20 rule doesn't completely apply here. These athletes are more akin to following a 90-10 approach in their adherence to routines. When it comes to exercise, they balance training and exercise. When it comes to exercise, they balance cardio and resistance training. Even women incorporate weightlifting into their regimens. Nutritionally, they prioritize protein and vegetables, with some focus on calorie restriction, although this isn't universal. Supplementation is widespread, often surpassing practices seen in the bodybuilding community with choices informed by regular blood tests. The behaviors they avoid are crucial too. These athletes generally abstain from alcohol, smoking and drug use. While they may indulge occasionally, it's rare. Lastly, a strong growth mindset is universal among them. They are not complainers, but proactive learners. One standout interview was with an 86-year-old, who declared he had at least 40 more years to reach his goal of 120. This growth mindset is a defining trait. And that is a wrap up on our story of rejuvenation and longevity. We made some quite amazing interviews that will be very helpful for anyone who watches them. So be sure to check those playlists out. And yeah, that's it from us for now. Maybe in the future we'll get back to this. Hey boss, what's up? Oh, a new competition. That's right. For 2025, we are launching our very own competition of rejuvenation and longevity. It will be called the 2025 Longevity World Cup. And of course, we're not gonna stop making these interviews either. So be sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on all of our different social media platforms, and I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye. There you go. Subscribe.